take two. Here we go. Coming into scene. Okay, what's up guys? Jordan Anderson here, coming to you from a random Hard Rock Hotel Cafe, I don't know, in Daytona Beach, Florida. So today we're gonna to talk about creative strategy and how to develop one for your video and for your clients. Okay, so when you first start out with video production, you just um, mostly are just kind of a, you just make videos for people. There's no, you're not really stepping into the business side of things. Uh, you just, someone has hired you, you, you know, they see you, you have a camera, you're good at with a camera, you're good at editing, and they need you to just make the video. So you just make the video, it's cool. Like, hey, here's the video, I just uploaded it to you, like, the client's happy. The further, the further, <clears throat> the further you get along in the video production, you start to realize that just making a video and just like handing it off is not... The pro it's not the best thing for your clients. Usually with clients, they don't have the most robust like marketing department. They're coming to you because they have a problem with their videos because they don't have the capabilities to make the video. And in most cases, they're just making a video because that's what they read on LinkedIn or that's what they read that, you know, hey, you need a video. Most clients just kind of start stop there. They just think they need a video and that will solve their problems. It can solve their problems, but oftentimes when you're on the receiving end of actually making a video and you're in the pocket, you're behind the camera, you're making the, you know, you're reading the script, you're executing the script, you're shooting it, and you're just, at the, sometimes at the end of the day, or even while you're shooting, you're like, what is this all for? Like, why are we shooting this? Or what is the point of, what is the point of this scene? It's a little too late to ask those questions now because you're shooting the video. I'm gonna walk you through some helpful questions that you should ask your client when they're asking for a video from you. Clients with good intentions want video. They want, uh, they want their message to be seen by a lot of people. They want video is awesome and extremely interactive and people want that for their business. They want a cool commercial. They want a cool viral video for their business, but they don't know exactly what it takes or how to get there or what's beyond just making the video, what's the distribution behind the video. So let's kind of go through some typical questions you should ask your clients if you want to make more effective videos. That's probably, that's probably gonna be the title of this video, like how to make more effective videos for your clients. Yeah, let's, let's definitely title it that. So like I said, you start out in the very beginning, you're just making videos, you're just handing them off, you shoot them, edit them, hand them off, and you know you, you maybe go back to the client website and you check back six months later and you see the video that they that you made that they put on their youtube channel or they put on facebook and it only has like 37 views and you're like well i'm glad i worked really hard on that video for them to just get 40 views like that's that's great awesome whether or not the client knows that they're doing this on purpose the results of the video that you make for them oftentimes and sometimes accidentally reflected on the production company itself, you guys. So you make them this video, they spent so much time on this, they worked really hard, like there was so much scripting and shooting and editing and re-edits and recuts and, uh, you know, graphics and you all, you know, you made the video and you handed it off to them and then once it went on to Facebook or YouTube or wherever on their website and it didn't really drive traffic or it didn't really solve the problem that they were trying to solve, they're just going to look at you and either not hire you again and go someone go with someone else or they're going to give you a smaller project that's not as in-depth. It's in your best interest as a video production company to really make sure that you understand your client's business needs, that you understand why they want to make this video, what's the purpose of this video, what do you or what are you hoping this video will do? Here's like typical questions you should ask your client before the video even the concept of the video even gets started. So, Client comes to you says, you do great video work, we looked at your reel, we looked at your website, and we're really happy with it. And we want, we want to hire you to shoot our next video. We want you to, we're thinking about this video campaign, and we think you guys are the, are the people to do it. We're happy to make videos, we can 100% we can shoot and edit for you. And then you go, you know, you mind if I ask you a few questions about why you want to make this video? What's the, you know, can I ask a little bit about the purpose of the video? The answers may be like, well, we want to drive sales, we want to drive traffic to the website, we want this video to go viral, we want to, you know, increase our following. And those are all fine answers. That's total, those are great answers. Nothing wrong with any of those answers. And, and usually the answers and the intention behind what a client is doing is pretty solid. So then you ask a little further. You say, okay, you want to drive sales. You want to drive traffic. Who's the target audience? Who is your customer base? Target audience is a great way 
to kind of figure out what the video is about, how you're going to shoot it, how you're going to script it, how it's going, how the style, the fonts, everything is going to like really be dictated based on the target audience. If the demographic that you're shooting for, you know, the target audience is under 18, then maybe you want to shoot fast, maybe you want to cut fast, maybe the style, the music, the taste, the the colors are brighter. To make the big Toyota Super Bowl commercial that is appealing to everyone is not really that practical on a smaller scale, small to medium business scale. Large corporations, they have millions of dollars, millions of dollars to do research and marketing and distribution, and they're able to afford that kind of general message that can appeal to everyone. The Toyota commercial, the Pepsi commercial, it can appeal to everyone. But on a small business scale, you want there's nothing wrong actually with making multiple videos for multiple sets of people. And even with even when you have the conversation with your client saying, who is the target audience? Well, are there multiple sets inside this target audience? Is you know, if you're a, if it the target audience is 25 to 30 year olds, uh, is that all men and women? And inside the men category, is it even a smaller subset? Inside the women category, is it an even smaller subset? It's actually a smart idea in terms of marketing and distribution to make the same video six different ways for six different types of people. Whether the intro is different or the outro is different or the call to action is different or the actors in the script are a little bit different, it's much more effective because you're able to like target that specific group of people because this video that they're watching they can relate relate to the most and then they may want to check out your business. The whole idea that you have to make one big video is not uh, it's kind of a dying idea. I mean yes you can make the one big overview video. And then finally asking the distributions. So asking them what is their marketing plan for this? What is their distribution plan behind this? Once I hand you this video, once we finish post-production, all the finishing, all the color grading, I hand it over to you what are you guys planning to do with this? What's the next step once, you know, what does distribution look like? It's important that they start to think about that answer. I would be weary of a client if they were totally unsure what they wanted to do with it. Or, you know, I would be very skeptical when they said, oh yeah, we're just gonna upload it to YouTube or we're gonna upload it to Facebook and it'd be fine. Or we're gonna just, you know, embed it on our website and you're like, great, are you going to put some money behind this? Are you gonna pay for ads with this? Or are you just gonna upload this and just like call it a day? A lot of times these are not in your control. So you can ask the question and they may say they have it and you just kind of have to deal with that. You just have to kind of make that decision. Clients can have no idea what they're doing. Uh, or clients can have to 100% be on the ball and know exactly what they want, why they want it and how they're going to do it. If you find those clients, like <laughs> try to keep, <laughs> try to keep those clients. These three aspects, the business solution, you know, solving their business problem overall finding their target audience and coming up with a distribution plan, you could charge them strategy time and say, let's actually, before we even get into the video production process of pre-production and script writing, let's actually figure out how we're gonna do this or what's the purpose behind this or is video the only thing we need to do or is video something we should do at all? Should we go and do podcasts? Should this be a photo campaign? Should this be a blog campaign? Yes, just we're video producers, we're filmmakers, we're cinematographers out there. If you're a hammer, all you see, you know, everything to you looks like a nail. You, yes, video solves the problem. Video always solves the problem. And that's not always the case. If you are coming up with a strategy with them and you end up deciding that video is not the best thing for them and you hand them off to a podcast studio or a photographer, then they're gonna value you even more. Like it's, it sounds counterintuitive that yes, they may not be working with you or they like, but you are able to help them solve their business problem, which is much more important than just saying, oh, well, you made a cool video for them. You actually to help them achieve what they're trying to do and that is a great way to build client relations. That's how you build trust with your client that, yes, this guy is not just selling me because he just makes videos. This guy is actually trying to help me solve my business problem and I trust that guy more because he's not a bullshitter. My name is Jordan Anderson. Get out there, work with your clients, help them make a more effective video. Don't just make a video for the hell of it. Don't just be like, ugh. It's not always in your best interest just to make a video because you're a video maker. Work with clients, work with businesses, help them solve the problem that's going to get you more clients and that's going to keep clients longer. My name is Jordan Anderson. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Be sure to subscribe. And as always, we'll see you soon.